Hey, what's up, my friend? Hope that you're doing good. It's uh, good over here. It's a rainy day here in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, I just wanted to stop and see if anybody uh, wanted to pray with me. Since you're still here with me, let's uh, let's not waste no more time. Heavenly Father, we just come before you right now, Lord. Just me and my friend right here, just to take a take a knee before your throne. Um, just just grateful to be your servants, Lord. We know we're not the best servants sometimes. We don't listen. We're disobedient, God, but we want to do better. We want to do whatever it is that you would ask of us. We want to be able to hear your hear your voice better, Lord. And uh, yeah, we're just we're just grateful to be where we're at. You know, not just wandering around in the in the world like like everybody else, but but called out for for a special purpose. You know, the biggest purpose there is, and that's uh, saving souls. So we just pray that you would use us, Lord, that we would be, that we could do more, that you would do more with us, and that you would equip us to do those things, that we would be bold, that we would go out and tell people about you and, and uh, with no worries whatsoever. Share our testimonies, tell of the things that you've done, the wonderful thing. Why wouldn't we? You're amazing, Lord. So just speak to us as we read your word. And uh, yeah, we're grateful for for your presence here to be able to read with you. So, so yeah, I'm outside here working. I'm over at my mother's house. I got this, uh, the, I got a cracked pipe. Uh, it was right there. I already cut it off, but it comes up from the pond down and pumps water up. And I use it for like to do these fish ponds and stuff with but yeah I was just thinking about like when the when the storms come when it gets cold you know that ice forms in there and it just looks for like the weakest the weakest place it can go where it can expand and 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 it breaks through and uh and then it causes problems you know then you don't have water it it uh it can leak out. I don't know if that was the biggest deal coming from the pond, but you know, it's just it's it causes problems. And I was just thinking about like when 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 the world gets cold, you know, when the storms come in our life, that Satan's coming and he's looking for our weakest point. And he wants to break through and wreak havoc on our lives. And uh and we need to be solid everywhere. So so he can't do that. He's coming, you know, he's 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 coming for when you got problems in your relationship. He's coming when you got bills to pay and you don't know how you're gonna pay him. You know, when we got loved ones out on the street and we don't know, you know, if they're gonna be okay. These things can cause serious uh depression and, and fear and anxiety and that's that's when he's coming. He's coming when it's all falling down. And, uh, you know, that's what he did with Jesus when Jesus was led out into the desert. You know, he was, he, he was hungry and he was tired. And he could have just, you know. But that's what, he, that's what Satan is doing with us. And we need, to be, we need to be solid in our faith. You know, knowing what the Lord says about things, that we're... As long as we're following him, we're, we're, we're good. You know, we're good to go. He's got plans to prosper us. He's, uh, you know, abundant life. No good thing does he withhold. You know, he loves us. We're his children. He's, he's got us right right where he wants us. And, uh, and we need to stand firm in that, you know, that with God for us, who could be against us? What could be against us? No weapon shall prosper, you know. He keeps in peace those whose thoughts are fixed on him. To keep our thoughts fixed on him, we trust We trust in him. We're just constantly looking to him. God, I know you got this. Anytime we start to worry, oh, never mind, God's got this. Faith comes by hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. That's not just reading your Bible. That's receiving the word that the Lord speaks to you. Atheists can read that Bible. That doesn't build their, their faith. They're, they're against it. You got to be ready to receive it. Hearing. Hearing the word of God. So we got to know the word and we got to be able to take it captive. That, uh, 
I won't use the pipe comparison again, but, but we can't have any weak points. We are human, but we don't wage war as humans do. We use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. And after you have become fully obedient, we will punish everyone who remains disobedient. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 6. So uh, I do talk about this one a lot. The Lord always had me do this one um, because this is what's causing people to be depressed and anxious and miserable. And once we get this down, we can have joy and we can be thankful for that's the will of God. Let me read one more. Um, this is the message. Paraphrase. Uh, these are kind of cool sometimes. Sometimes they're kind of um, different. The world is unprincipled. It's dog eat dog out there. The world doesn't fight fair, but we don't live or fight our battles that way, never have and never will. The tools of our trade aren't for marketing or manipulation, but they are for demolishing that entire massively corrupt culture. We use our powerful God tools for smashing war philosophies tearing down barriers erected against the truth of God, fitting every loose thought and emotion and impulse into the structure of life shaped by Christ. Our tools are ready at hand for clearing the ground of every obstruction and building lives of obedience into maturity. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 6, the message. So we got lies coming in from every which away from the world, from Satan, it's all, it's all messed up, but we know the truth from the Lord and, uh, you know, we believe it. We believe every word that he says. He always comes through. Lord, you always come through. Your name is faithful and true. So we're just uh, glad to have you going for us, Lord, where nothing can be against us. We're just going to keep our thoughts fixed on you. Think of things that are excellent and worthy of praise, God. Trusting in you, walking by faith and not by sight. The creator of the heavens and the earth can move things wherever he wants. He can move mountains, do whatever he wants for us. And you will, Lord. You already have been. So just keep leading us, Lord. We love you. And we pray for your will to be done in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Don't forget to testify every time you get a chance. Anything, any little thing. The Lord did this. Amen. All right. Take care.